folks, Marcus out here at Tolliver RV again. Steve McCoola over here as well. We got a treat for you this morning. We're gonna show you this brand new 2024 Arcadia SL RD 294. Yeah, rear What's the SL mean? Super light. It's a 9,000 pound fifth wheel. So that's kind of borderline for a half ton truck. I mean, if you got the right one, you know, a 3.5 liter with the twin turbo in the Ford or a 6.2 in a Chevy. It'll tow it all day long. Yep. And just get like your little it. slider in the back of it and you're ready to go. And this is uh, kind of unique having triple slide outs on uh, something that's half ton towable. I know, because that's usually going to where your weight's going to get too high. The more the slides, the heavier the weight makes it harder to tow with a half ton. Yeah. But I think they did a great job on this. I like this layout. But uh, you know, I'll tell you what, we're over here at Bailey Tolliver RV in Brownfield, which is 30 miles southwest of Lubbock, Texas. There we go. Such a deal. Let's get a look at some of the features yes, on sir. here. Yes, sir. Yeah, Notice got, the four-point uh, auto level. That's always nice to have. And it's also got this rubberized mount over here to take care of, uh, eliminate some of the chucking that can happen uh, towing. So they think of everything. Uh, it's rated at 21,000 pounds for this. So it's, it's much, it's overkill. It's more than what's needed on here, but I'd rather have it and not need it than yeah. need it and not have it. I love this new painted front cap too. That's all out of paint on that fiberglass. I love that. Very nice. You got the storage on the front. You got pass-through storage over here. You've got uh, very compact, but yet look at this. Oh, you have an outdoor got the refrigerator and it's got a griddle. Look at that. Nice. Imagine doing some bacon and eggs or sausage oh, yeah. and eggs, a couple pancakes on that. Oh yeah. Tell me what. That's what I'm talking about. And it's got the uh, uh, the quick connect right here instead of down so I don't have to reach like up on anymore. Yeah. I do like that. I like that great big window too, right underneath that awning. Look at the LED lighting on the awnings. That's really cool. Wow. It's got a lot of good stuff. Let's look inside and see what we can find in here. All right, let's get a look inside this. Come into a U-shaped kit. What do you think, Marcus? I like that. That's a ton of counter space. Got a nice third for three burner fifth top over here. Still have you know, a lot of got a microwave ahead. Look at all the storage space in the kitchen. Wow. I mean, you can find a place to put everything up here when you're camping. Watch a cabinet, watch knees. Dedicated spot for your trash spot. Oh, I just realized that on this side, you've actually got a large pantry that's over here besides all that storage over there. Man, they've done this one up right. Spices, yeah. smaller stuff down here. Deep. I mean, we're talking deep, deep, deep. Barely uh, reach your wife doesn't have short arms reaching back there for the stuff in the back. Uh, she can always use a step, a little step, step yeah. stool. 12 volt direct current refrigerator. Do you like that 10 cubic foot? Man, I'm telling you what, I like this living area too. You look like you you're what? pretty, pretty I'm comfortable over here out with over there in the heat and massage on this theater seat recliner. This is. Y'all go ahead and finish the video. Get your night lights <laughs> underneath of it. This is a nice trifold sofa over here too. I mean, if you king got some size good, bed though. A king size bed, it is nice. King size bed. I mean, you sleep four people on here. It's a little chilly over here in Brownfield this morning, so uh, we turned on the fireplace. Yeah, I can feel the that. warmth coming over here right now. Yeah, I right. think you should too. And I we'll think this is going to come. Uh, that would be a good place for a TV. I, I think, think the one we had in the, here is. Uh, it's currently on loan to the local pawn shop, but I do have one coming to go back in there for you. Uh, the great part about the one we replace it with is it'll be a smart TV. So nice we, freestanding dinette. Man, this is a great layout. Um, is that what I think it is? A 12 by 12 replaceable filter on the air conditioner? It would be. There's one there. And there's one in the master bedroom as well. So this has a separate master bedroom? It does. Wow. Great to have. I say we go get a look at it. Let's take a look at the bathroom and the bedroom, see what we can find. Now, let me shut off the heat. That felt good and the massage. We got this nice assist handle for going up the steps. We come to the bathroom. We've got good storage. I can certainly fit in here very comfortably. Got plenty of headroom. <laughs> Medicine cabinet, solid surface countertop. And this is the controller for the tankless hot water heater. So endless hot water heater porcelain toilet, all the goodies that we've got here, and head into the bedroom. All right, we come in here, there is one small step up. We've got the full-sized residential queen bed. We've got the slide-out wardrobe that, that's got drawers as well as lots of hanging space. 
And uh, for somebody that's six foot tall or less, I'm standing up straight with my hat on and I've got headroom in here. So cabinets, storage, under bed storage, what else could you ask for? It's preset for a TV if you wanted to add another TV to the bedroom. Like anything with Keystone, it has the key TV. You'll get uh, no signal loss if you have a TV in here, back in the living room, and if you had one on the uh, outside of it as well. Marcus. Yes, sir. So what do you think about this? You know, I love the size of the room. You know, I like to be able to walk around both sides of the bed, which is really, really nice. I know a lot of the trailers, you can't even get around the end of them. But I got space on either side. Love the wardrobe slide out over there, so we got plenty of space. I already told you about the uh, the changeable filters on the AC. It's the Roman shades. Roman shades. Just pull it down, and it goes wherever you want it to. It it's does. thicker than a normal one, so it actually has an insulation value on it too. That's it really really good on, on keeping the light out. But you're right, it does a good job keeping the heat in or the cold out as well with those Roman shades. So remember, folks, come out here to Brownfield, Texas, to see Marcus and Steve. We are the RV, RV Ninjas. Ninjas.